Now, the Osu Traditional Council has lifted the ban on drumming and noise making in the Osu Traditional Area. This decision follows the successful performance of all customary rites necessary by the traditional authority in preparation for this year's Homowo Festival. The ban which had been in place since May 10 was lifted on Friday. City News' Christopher Kevin Asima has more in the following report. Homowo is a festival celebrated by the Ga people, which means hooting at hunger. It is preceded by a month-long ban on drumming and noise making. The Ga people are organized into six independent traditional areas, namely Gamashi, Accra, Osu, La, Teshi, Nungwa, and Tema. Each traditional area observes the ban on noise making and the festival on different dates. The ban on drumming and noise making in the Osu traditional area was enforced on May 10th. This annual ban is imposed to enable priests and priestesses to pray for prosperity for the people and the country at large. This year's lifting of the ban was marked by traditional customs and ceremonies. The ban is deeply rooted in agricultural symbols, emphasizing the importance of focused farming activities during this period. The community prays for rain, blessings and protection for the entire nation, not just the Ga people. This tradition highlights the inclusive nature of the Ga community where people of different religious backgrounds live harmoniously and participate in each other's festivities. This inclusivity is believed to be the source of peace and protection for the community. Speaking at a press conference announcing the lifting of the ban, Ni Norte Eduamwa Osiahini IV of Osu urged the public to celebrate moderately. He noted that other rituals are still underway to prepare for the Homo festival. He encouraged both citizens and non-citizens to join in celebrating this year's festival. The tradition begins from now. We have other rites to perform until Homo War. We have various um, rites like um, uh, Dade Shifu, which is the main deity of Osu. Uh, it has its rites that will be performed. Then we have our drums, which is the Obunu, also rites to perform. Then we have the stool, rites also to perform before the homo war we therefore seek each and everyone to continue to behave ourselves we should keep that spirit of respect until finally the homo war festive will be over in preparation for this year's homo war festival the osu traditional council has lifted the ban on drumming and noise making they also urge the public to be moderate in their celebration as there are still more traditional rites to take place before the festival. For City News, I am Christopher Kevin Asima, reporting.